Oh. That's a little bigger than I. Okay, we got some queens trying to emerge. I just peeled the cap back on this and it wasn't chewed all the way through yet. So we got a call to come remove some bees in a duplex. I don't even know what I'm looking at yet. I think it's between floors, if I recall correctly. This is one that's been on the books for about a week and a half. So memory's a little foggy on what we talked about. Headed up to Hattiesburg, Mississippi to get this one done. My brother's probably gonna come join me. And um, right now I'm itching to open a box. I've got my new game cameras in the back, surveillance cameras. Uh, work comes first. Well, I arrived at my destination. I was at the wrong place. My customer gave me his personal address for billing purposes, and that's where I went. <laughs> I don't have the address to the property. I just showed up, and he's like, uh, what are you doing here? <laughs> Cost me an extra 10 miles. All right, now we're going to cut some bees out. Magnus, anybody here? Hello. Hello, hello. Just backing up here to where I'm gonna be parking for the job. Went in and checked the job out. It's this bottom apartment here. Here's what I noticed outside the truck window, but then I feel like out here in the sun, it's really going to town. If you're working in a closet with these wire shelves and somebody has gone the extra mile to put not only the pop-out brackets on the bottom but secure it on the top all the way down too and you can't take it out you take these angle brackets off sometimes you can just flip them against the wall put a screw in it to hold it and it's out of your way ceiling like this I'm being extremely careful because I don't know what's above that someone could run low wires low plumbing also I'm trying my hardest to save that piece of sheetrock because I've got to put it back up if I can't save it then I gotta run around and buy a piece of rock cut it to fit uh, I'm not hitting hive but it's not big there's not that big the insulation out. There it is. Ooh. I'm glad I didn't hit that water line. That would have sucked. Can you see or is that plastic in your way? <laughs> oh. That's a little bigger than I and I thought take all this trash insulation and stuff up in here oh there's a good good view of the whole thing wow can you see that let me get you over here yeah that's a good size Trying to get busy. Go ahead and get cleaned up. All right, the bees are a little testy outside. There's an air conditioning unit right outside this wall and it's stirring them up. And every time you walk past this, they're running into your head. Hadn't been stung yet, but they're testy outside. So I'm gonna start inside with an extension. I've got this blind open for them to go to this window. They look like they've swarmed already, just from the numbers on the comb. It's the time of the year where they should have anyway.
the size hive full, there would be quite a few more bees in here. I just uncovered an open queen cell right here. And these are some queen cups. Got cups all over the place, but there's a queen cell that's already emerged. So yeah, they've swarmed already. Looks like we got a couple of unopened queen cells. Unless sometimes sometimes they'll chew the cap and then the cap gets flipped back over, but I think these are both unopened. Come get the phone right now. I just peeled the cap back on this and it wasn't chewed all the way through yet. This queen's trying to come out now. Not really the best time for her to come out, but she's she's at the right age. Give her, give her a little help here. I don't have much of a thumbnail, but I'm trying to get that edge of that cell without pinching her. There she can. She's a runner. She was ready to come out now. That's what a baby queen looks like. Head down looking for something to eat. She's in some cells that have a little nectar in them. Some more helpers over here. Some more drones being born. Well, she's still going out. She was thirsty. She's taking her first drink. Baby B's first meal. There's another one that emerged while I was playing with that one. There's a cap, cells empty now, and workers up in there. Any of y'all that are using everything back, I've had a few people tell me that their battery won't last a full cutout, and I do multiple cutouts on one charge and I'm, I'm thinking probably you're running your vac at full power or at least at working speed the whole time you're on the job and you can hear what I'm doing I work and I turn it down or turn it off when I'm done vacuuming I turn it off and I cut combs and I turn it back up the vac battery lasts. I've done, I've done as much as three cutouts and two swarm catches on one charge.
Freeman cutout specialist. What's going on with me? Oh, uh, you hear anything? Have I heard anything? Do you, or do you hear anything right now? I'm not doing anything right at the moment. <laughs> That's what I said. Do you hear anything? I got my phone up in. I got my phone up in a high of a minute. Closet ceiling. You want to call me back a little bit? Yeah, I'll call you back in a little bit. Hey, you want to? You want to tell everybody where you're at and who to call if they get a, a B problem? Found in South Carolina. That's where I'm at. And so, take and take cut out. Cutouts. And take cutouts for uh, 100 miles in any direction, probably. Pretty much, I'm going to Columbia this coming Friday. That's what I was calling you about. So, give me a hold back a little bit. I call you back when I'm on my way home. It's going to be a couple hours. clean out. My brother, the blister, shows up when all the work's done. <laughs> I literally have the entire hive out and the ceiling closed up. I was collecting tools and cleaning up. He walks in the minute I'm finishing up, putting up tools, and says, what are you doing? Like, I ain't doing nothing. Somebody's got to check his work. <laughs> like a dang code inspector. <laughs> I 
I may have left my smoker. Nope, I got it. Got a pretty good drive home. So, uh, 6.30, about an hour and 10 minutes to get home. And Elizabeth's got steaks ready. So, uh, might only be 45 minutes to get home. Driving fast. Up here in the country, got some beautiful scenery up here. That hive was extra loaded with drones. It was almost a one-to-one -one drone to worker ratio in that in that colony in that hive. Almost. I mean, workers obviously outnumbered the drones a little bit, but not much. I'm telling you, there was a lot of drones in that hive. A bunch of queen cells, probably about 20 queen cells. Uh, I didn't count them. Just guessing. I know I got at least three unmated queens in the vac might only be one by the time i get them in a box tonight i don't know if they'll fight when they're in a cluster like that but if they will there's plenty of opportunity because it's tight quarters in that back i got three unmated queens in there the hive had swarmed there was not a laying queen in there she'd gone with the rest of them and i knew i knew it when i opened the ceiling i knew it had been it had swarmed because you don't get healthy hives that big and not have them just absolutely covering the cones on the bottom when you open them up. If they if they're like that, you you either got a recent swarm or a failing queen. And I knew this time of the year the chances were it was just a swarm. Good bees, not too, uh, not overly defensive. And I only saw a couple with short bodies and I don't know if they were just anomalies or if that hive actually has a varroa problem. I didn't do a test on that one. It's kind of uh, under the gun to get it done pretty quick. The tenant was coming home matter of fact I passed them as I, as I was leaving they were pulling in the driveway as I was leaving so I really didn't have time to, to do a lot of extras like mic tests and trying to cage each queen individually and all that kind of stuff saw blades in my door over there rattling and there are just some beautiful places out here if I wasn't in a hurry to get home to a steak I would stop and get some pictures but right now I got other things on my mind. I got high, I got removals coming up. Somebody, I got people picking up nukes and wax tomorrow. I got uh, possibly a call in Florida tomorrow, two and a half hours away. Still waiting on confirmation on that. And then all next week. And then I had four more calls today. And my brother's going to look at one this afternoon for me because he don't do them anymore. He's just going to look, save me the trip. So I'm busy. It's uh, April 22nd and I am running like crazy. Hope the rest of y'all are too. That time of year. Well, I'm out. I'm just sitting here rambling. Got nothing else to do but talk to y'all. <laughs> y'all have a great evening.